Hi everyone, it's Beachy Nails. Today I'm going to show you guys how I created this artwork with dried alcohol inks. Now remember, stay to the end of the video because I will have still shots of all of these plus macro shots to go along with it. And also the nail that we create now will also be at the, also at the end of the video too. And I have my dried palette here. I'm going to take my cover off. I've done a video on these before. And I'm going to do the purple and gray, which I use this burgundy type maroon along with this like slate gray color. And these are alcohol inks. And I'm just going to use, for right now, just to apply it on there. Just a brush like this. I actually, let's see, go in my drawer here, had found a pack of these. This is like last summer or something like that. From my Five Below, I got all of these different kinds of brushes in there. This was like $4. Nothing fancy, because I'm just kind of like splotting it on there. I'm going to get my brush wet. I have my little cup here of rubbing alcohol. And move my palette a little bit out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in. Put this swatch stick down here. I'm just kind of, it, it's random art is what it is. I'm just randomly putting it on there. Kind of have to hold it in the air. I'm going to get it all over my paper towel here. See when I add more alcohol, how it really changed the color? I can also use blending solution to do this as well. Now when you add alcohol, what you do have to worry about it, it, it takes the drying time away from the actual initial alcohol inks, which is 7 to 10 seconds long. Because I added rubbing alcohol to it, this is not dry all the way, as you can see. And yes, that's another art you can do. I did a swatch stick right here. That's with alcohol inks and saran wrap. Anything as possible, you guys. I mean, I take my rubber glove here and look. I'm making design in there. You don't want it, go right over it. Love these inks, they're very forgiving. You don't like it, you can still save it. Add texture, stipple it. Look at that so far. Alright, I'm going to clean my brush off. Now that alone looks really nice. I honestly would hate to do this technique on this base because it actually just looks really nice. You guys see that? But, we're going to. Now you can do it a couple of different ways. You can use, this is a triple zero. You can use, oh my striper brush is like totally shot here. There we go. You can use a striping brush. Here's another detail brush. I think this one actually trimmed some of the hairs off. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this one. Doesn't matter which one you guys have. Any thin brush would actually really work. I mean, I could use the ones from Fab Your Nails, the pure color. I mean, that's got a nice also on there. I don't want to ruin them, though. That's why I'm not going to use this with this technique. I'd rather use ones that I can get at my local craft store. Okay, back on this nail here. I'm going to dip it into my alcohol solution here. And I'm going to go into the gray. I don't know if you can really see that on there, but it is on there. And just draw lines. It'll get a little bit more. I play music always in the background. It honestly, it seems to calm the dogs down. It 
muzzles out a lot of different noises around in the house, so they don't go around barking. You see that? Look, look at that. It's like claw marks through that. I don't want to touch this nail anymore. I really, really like it that way, but I'm going to carry on and continue for video purposes. It'd be a, that's, I really like that myself. Okay. Got my brush. I've got a lot of alcohol on here, so I'm just going to dab some of it off. Now, if you come in, and because I really didn't add a lot of alcohol to my base here, so when I come in and I stripe a line, you see how that removes that? I could go in and go into my gray and stripe right back in there with my gray. Fill it in. I can, let's add a bigger circle of gray. Sorry. Now I'm just making a mess out of it. So what do you do when you've gone to the point of no return and you're like, all right, something like that. You ruined it. No, you didn't. You can still save that. Give it a second. Let it dry fully. Because the more you go into it, the more messed up you're going to make it. I really liked it the first time I did it, before I started adding more, then I liked the claw marks that I had going through it. And then I was just playing with it more and more, and you know, we're going to let it dry for a second, and I'm going to show you how you can save it. Sorry. Alright, I'm going to pause this and calm them down, I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to work out, because they're right next to me here. So we're back into this maroon purplish color here, and we're going to just re-add some inks. We're going to cover up that. And next minute you're going to start to realize, wow, those mess ups that you had actually helped make the base now even look more amazing. Because it just gave it more detail. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? The key is, is once you start messing with and adding in any, like rubbing alcohol especially, it starts to water it down. If you stick with a blending solution, which you guys, you can actually pick this bottle up. This whole bottle cost me like $2.50. I had a 40% off coupon for Joanne Fabrics. It's really worth the money to buy it and use that. The alcohol does give the outer line effect. The blending solution helps blend it in. It will also do the same thing, but it helps still with the drying time. It's not as long as when you start adding rubbing alcohol. And the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol is really, it's an activator. I'm going in my gray. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint in some stripes here. really do this upside down here. You could actually even create a zebra print.
Oh, I like how I'm getting like a stained glass look right here. Another thing you can do is you can dip your fingers into your rubbing alcohol and you can just flick it and it'll leave random, all on its own, spots. You can dip a toothbrush in there and flick the toothbrush too to fling the water. Obviously you only need tiny, tiny drops to get even big effects on your nails here. Okay, we're going to stop on this one. And I'm going to show you what I do to set it on my actual nail. Now I have a towel here that's dedicated just for this application. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set that down. And I am using hairspray in an aerosol can. Now if I go close to it, here, let me back up some. If I'm close up to it, it's just going to make my art spray out everywhere. I'm going at least eight inches away from the nail. And just light spritz. That's it. I'm going to let it set to dry. Put it over in the tank. And I'm going to grab out another swatch stick I have here. Now this only has one coat of white polish on there. And we're going to go with some browns here. And every time when I dip back in there, so I can get different. You know what this color is really reminding me of? Have you seen where they take coffee and they actually apply it to paper for coffee stains to get like this brown, brownish coffee color? And you see when I go into The alcohol, it spreads it more. Did you pay to do your taxes this year? Or did you not pay to do your taxes? Because you filed them for free on TurboTax. And then you had some money to spend on something else. Like a miniature train set. So you can give all your two-inch tall friends a ride to a tiny post office or something. Thank okay, you. now I'm just taxes. slapping it on here every direction. Not sure if I really like this. Let's try. Now it says on the bottle that blending solution will remove this. So I've just got a paper towel here. I'm going to squirt some on there. Here's a surprise. Yes, it does remove it. So, you know, Tim Holtz, he really knows what he's talking about because look at that. It does remove it. I'm going to add blending solution into one of my palette wells here. And I want to use that now and try it out and see what happens. Oh, this is a pretty purple. Look at that. The blending solution actually makes it spread a lot further than just me keep on dipping my brush into the inks. Or, I'm sorry, into the rubbing alcohol. Now that's me. I just dipped back into my blending solution. Let's try a full size brush in there. We're experimenting together. 
Let's paint it on. Wow, look how bold that is. Now, you know, if I were to use rubbing alcohol, I really would have diluted that. That's just with blending solution. Look at that. And yeah, my, my brush... Well, you can't really even see on the fibers here. But it's clean. I dipped it right back in there. I like how I went from green and brown to now a purple with the same nail, all thanks to the blending solution. I'm going to give this a second to dry. And we're going to add in some... color and I can go back over them and darken it up again. on there I'm removing I'm adding and it's not just circles I'm I'm able to get squares and rectangles if I wanted to I can draw a triangle with the alcohol know that I'm not really digging this little bald spot right there. So I'm gonna go in with, you know what, I wanna add some green in there, a different color. Look at that. Now, the one nail, that I had did, let me see if I can find that swatch deck, I already lost it. Oh, I have to pause it because there's a bad song coming up, I'm sorry. Alrighty, sorry about that, I was on the wrong channel. Now we can continue to play with this, add more lines. But I am pretty satisfied with how it is right now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this. And for that, I need my trusty little towel here for overspray. And I'm going to be far away, at least six to eight inches. And just, that's it. Just need a little. Now, I've also done this to paint on. And I'm using uh, Funky Fingers, Life's a Beach. This is an oldie. This is also one of these um, solar color. And with one of the swatch sticks that I did, I actually had a painted color on there. And I went in and I painted with the dried alcohols. Now here's the color. This is the color coming out of the light box, obviously already underneath the color. Can you tell the difference? So I'm going to wait until we get back to this color, just so I can kind of see where I'm at. For fun, let's stick this inside the light box. Watch it change. Oh, look at that. I just stuck it in really quick, just for a little bit, and see how partial, partial. Pretty neat, and this color is changing back. 
All right, well, when it gets back to the color, we'll come back. Okay, let's try this again, round two. But it is forgiving. And as you can see, sometimes when you add too much, it just looks too, too cluttered. I, I didn't like that because it was just too much going on. I am liking that. That. I'm glad I removed the first one. And that's just done with a brush. Again, could you imagine a zebra print done with this? Now everybody has a hard time doing the flicks, making it even. This is so much more of a natural flow, it will help make the print actually even look more realistic. Gonna go ahead and set this, pull my towel out, take my trusty hairspray, spray it. Let it set. Put a top coat on and I will post these at my end of my video and you guys take care. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Hang 10.